I'm here with uh, Jimmy Pike, DCS Chief Architect. Jimmy, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing well. So can you tell us uh, what you're going to talk to us today about? Yeah, I'm going to talk to you about this new product called uh, Lightweight Server that we've introduced and how we kind of got here. Cool. Um, probably one of the most uh, well-known principles in the computer industry is the idea of Moore's Law, where it says basically things double every 18 to 24 months, and we're all familiar with that. Uh, for example, if you look at where memory is and has gone, we've seen the best cost per dollar of memory gone from 4 gigabytes to roughly 8 gigabytes, something there about. We've also seen a couple of impacts on the CPUs, for example. We've seen the, the process shrink the geometries from 90 nanometers to arguably in the, the 45 nanometer range, and we've continued to grow the capability of CPUs. However, we've also realized that the implausibility of continuing to drive higher and higher clock rate is something we've had to deal with. So in order to deal with that, there's this concept of multiple cores, where it's essentially putting multiple processors into the same socket that was previously occupied by a single processor. We've seen that go from dual cores to probably the most popular today being four cores. Uh, that's kind of an interesting thing because these are all artifacts of Moore's Law. However, what we have seen is that the native demand for software to grow the capabilities of the CPUs and the chipsets and the servers has not grown at the same pace as we've been able to provide new resources. So that's caused us to create this model called virtualization. And what virtualization does is it basically creates a system where you have your hardware, you have uh, what's called a hypervisor, which is an abstraction layer away from the hardware, and the ability to put guest OSs and applications on that hardware. So you can actually run what is essentially multiple servers on what used to be uh, confined to a single server. Uh, an interesting aspect of that is, though, uh, Moore's Law is sometimes the most misquoted principle I think there is. What Gordon Moore actually said was the economics associated with putting transistors on a given piece of silicon doubled over 18 to 24 months. So there's actually two aspects of that. There is the speed up of it, and there's also the density of it. Now if you take the other aspect of that, where we've got machines that have hardware, hypervisors, gas OSs, and applications, which are very good, very robust servers, you can actually go the other way. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about lightweight servers. We're talking about taking the influence of Moore's Law and driving very small, very cost-effective, very power-efficient servers that are very good for a focused application, for example, a web server. It's kind of like back to the future, whereas in a virtual machine environment, you have your hardware, your hypervisor, your guest OS, and your application. We can kind of go back and do hardware with an OS and an application on top of it, much the way we used to do things. The deal is the lightweight servers allow us to do this in a very focused manner where it's very cost effective, it's very energy efficient, and it provides exactly what you need for a small environment. Good examples of those are things like web servers, uh, things where you have a very focused, very uh, intense uh, uh, application that doesn't require the robust capabilities of some of the advanced servers we're able to do today. And hence, we think there's a lot of opportunity for these lightweight servers to do many of the things in a very streamlined, very cost-effective fashion. Jimmy Pike, thank you so much.